Thompson welcomed new head football coach Mark Freeman inside the Alabaster City Schools school board chambers on Friday. One school board member said it was the largest school board function meeting they'd ever had in the new system's history. Mark Freeman's excited. He's a winner. Let's hear his thoughts on his new job. Mark, uh, why Thompson? What, what's the reason why you're here in red and black tonight? Well, I had a relationship with, with uh, when I met Dr. Vickers, and I'm, I'm 100% sold on what Dr. Fickers' past is and, and uh, Mr. Tangle, and it starts with those two guys and the community. I'm, I'm from up here, and I know this community and the love that they have for um, athletics and football and, and in general for their city, and I'm excited about being part of their city, part of what they got going on. Spanish Fort, very successful. He's got it rolling. Why leave that to come to maybe one of the hardest jobs in the state? Well, you know and what I'm doing is, is I feel like I'm taking the next step in what the Lord has for me. And I'm excited because I, you know, before any decisions made like this, you pray and you continually pray. And um, I just, I feel like it's the next step of my life with, and what God's got in store for me. And I just, something wants to be part of coming into these kids and these parents' lives that we look back and, and we've made a difference and they see that they really are great, great people, which they are great people. And uh, just the excitement of being able to come in and, take a chance of, of getting it going. What about coming back home to Birmingham? That's where you're from. You got a house up here. How much of that played a part in it? Uh, well, obviously it played a, a big part. We kept our house up here when we went to Gulf Shores and then to Spanish Ford, and we kept our home. We've got a lot of family up here. And um, up here, Jeff, I'm, I'm marked to a lot of people, and I enjoy that. Um, when you get out of here, you know, you're Coach Freeman, and, and I know that, that, that Coach Freeman is a – is something that coaches go by. But up here, I'm marked to a lot of people, and I'm looking forward to the relationships that we had, and I, I really can't wait to, to get in with these kids and, and um, help them understand that, that they're great people and that they're going to be loved by who we, who we got coming in here. How much did you investigate this job? Can you win, the structure, the places, the people? How much did you check into that before you make a move like this? Did you investigate it pretty fully? I looked into it. Um, when they contacted me, of course, I looked into it, and, and – and from being here, I know the makeup of the, the, the kids in the community and the parents in the community. And I'm sold that, that the parents and the kids are committed to, to doing whatever they got to do. And so I think that, you know, there's some things that go in that if, you, if you're negative, you can always be negative. But we're approaching this thing positive and, and just absolutely can't wait to, to get around the kids and to start putting something in their life that they feel good about themselves and, and just let them see that they really are are really good kids and, and good players. This must have been a rough day for you, saying goodbye to Spanish Fort and then saying hello to here. It must be a wild drive up, up the interstate, huh? It was. It was tough this morning saying goodbye to our kids. The relationship, and as much as we work with those kids, it's nonstop. And um, I love those kids. And we played at McAdoo this year, and I had kids that I coached in Birmingham. And, and those kids are always going to be there, and I'm always going to love them. Mm -hmm. And I know that we shared life together, and, and nobody can take that from us. And the Spanish Fort kids, I love them. Uh, we share a lot of great things, and my heart now is, is uh, I've got to move on, me and my wife, and get up here and be part of this, this what I think is an outstanding opportunity. I, I like things, and you know I, I'm not going to say I look at it as a challenge. I look at it as a great opportunity. The competitor, and you wouldn't be a great coach if you weren't. How much is it is getting in, the, in a region with Niblett, Rainey, you know, guys like that, Buddy Anderson, Chris Yeager? How much of that is you want to see how you measure up against some of the best coaches in Alabama? Well, that's, that's you know, to – to be part of what those guys do, and they're all friends of mine, and I thank the world of them. They all do great jobs, and um, you want to get in the region, and, and you know, as you keep climbing as a coach, you want to you want to be the best you can be, and you want the kids to be the best they can be, and to do that, you're going to compete against great coaches and great players, and uh, we look forward to the to the opportunity of, of getting in there and our kids competing, and our kids will compete. Our kids will look forward to competing, and uh, I think that we'll, I think that our kids will be a, uh, a big surprise to folks this year. You know, last thought, Mark. The guy on the street that know, thinks he knows his high school football and says, I don't care how good a coach Mark Freeman is, Thompson's only going to win seven or eight games a year. They can't win big time. They can't win big time at Thompson. What would be your response to that? Uh, I'll say this. If you think small, you're never going to be big. If you don't think big, you're going to be small. We're going to be positive. We're going to think big. And I, I, last time I checked, God don't have a limit on what he can do. And we're going to believe he's ahead of our program. Um, as long as he's running our program and not me and not these coaches or somebody, hey, the sky's the limit. And uh, I believe we're going to have great success.